Um, Dr. Cook, uh, thank you uh, for being here and, and for uh, the interview. Uh, to start, I guess, could you talk a little bit about your, your ministry background? Sure. I spent about five years at an, as a pastor of an evangelical free church up in Ludington, Michigan, hmm. which is a relatively small town, about 6,000 people on the west coast of Lake Michigan. Hmm. Okay, um, so so you've been, you've been there. You kind of have got your got your mm -hmm. uh, hands dirty, I guess, so to speak. Um, so can you, to, I guess, to, to start to jump right in, uh, ministry vision and church leadership uh, are they the same thing? What what do you think about that? I wouldn't say that they're the same thing. I would say sure. vision is a part of leadership, mm -hmm. um, and I would see it as the church has a mission that it's called to live out wherever it is in any culture, mm -hmm. in any part of the world. I would view vision as for this specific local church, how are we going to embody that in this culture, in this time with who we are as, a, as the people of God here? Sure. And that's gonna look different in every church, even in the same communities. So the same different mm -hmm. churches in the same communities have, could have a little bit of a different way of going about that. Sure. Um, Dr. Cook, can you kind of uh, maybe talk about uh, in those times of conflict, maybe what are some skills a pastor can develop or, or uh, just in your experience, what you've seen that might help a pastor kind of usher and carry a church through the through conflict, through transition? I think probably the first thing I would sit down and assess if I'm coming across conflict as a pastor is how serious is this to me? Like mm -hmm. how, how highly am I going to rate this conflict? And then the second question is going to be, what is this a conflict over? Sure. Is it a conflict over it's generally not a conflict over different values, but how we rank values. Hmm. So um, I want to do this, and maybe this other person values continuity with the past more than I am on this issue. Now, I also value continuity with the past, but maybe this is a place where I'm willing to have a higher value sure. that maybe is more missional or something like that. So I, I, I think I would need to step back and see what's the, what's the reason behind this and then I think another question that I would think through is, you know, what's my main job as a pastor? Am I, you know, am I proclaiming God's word? Am I praying for people? Am I caring for the, the individual people that are in the congregation? Um, and is this conflict worth me compromising my ability to do the main things that I'm called, you know, called here to do? So for me, I always want to see what's the right perspective to have on how serious this conflict is. And then in working through it, I do think it is a lot of just spending time with people one-on-one, sure. -on -one, trying to get a sense of where they're coming coming from and, and making sure trust is intact. Because even if you might lose that particular battle on conflict, if you lose the trust is broken, sure. even if you get your way, that's gonna really minimize your, your ability to do anything in the future. Hmm. Um, and, and I guess for, for newer pastors who are coming into this and uh, experiencing church conflict, what are, what are maybe some of the, the mistakes just uh, common mistakes made. Yeah, I was given the advice that when you come into a church, not to make any major changes the first year mm -hmm. if the church isn't mm -hmm. asking you to. Mm, that's good. And I that's think good. that's good advice because it yeah. gives you time and space to yeah. realize it's okay if I don't change something you know, structurally, mm -hmm. but it gives me space to really understand who, sure. who the church is and that type of thing. And I would also like, reflect back on what are, what are the main things I'm called here to do making sure I'm doing those. Mm -hmm. And then the leadership towards change uh, can be something that, that can come sure. a little bit later. So patience will be a big patience. word with that. Oh, that's, a, that's a good one. Those mm -hmm. are very practical. And I, I guess the one thing no pastor really wants to have to come to is, is what happens if it's, if it's time to go. Mm -hmm. um, and and when, when, that, when you get to that point, uh, it, can, it, can it be done well um, if, if, if it comes time to split? Um, for a pastor to go one way, maybe, and, and the church to, to go another. Uh, is, is there a way to navigate that uh, and, and to do it well? In my experiences, mm -hmm. evangelical churches, we generally don't do this very well. Sure. Um, I've rarely seen pastoral transitions end where both parties say, like, wow, that was a good experience. Mm. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Usually there is some pain involved uh, on the one or hand or on the other, unless there is some sort of a natural reason to leave mm. that's not related to, I don't really like where the direction that this sure, church is going, sure. or we don't like the direction right. you're going as a pastor. Um, but it, so if it does come to that, if it's a clash over, we're not going to see eye to eye. And um, some of it comes from, you know, where's the source of that, of mm -hmm. the impetus to leave? Is it coming from the pastor? I actually think that can be easier. 
Because if there has been a history of conflict over vision, if the pastor comes to a point where he says, I don't see this as heading in a positive direction, mm -hmm. I'm willing to step out. Usually when it reaches that point, a lot of people in the church can, can of course sit back and say, okay, I can see that, mm -hmm. well, you know, that we're not really getting along. So I think that's generally easier. Um, if it comes from the congregational side, um, boy, that's something I'm not sure really how, to be honest, I'm not really sure how to handle that well. Yeah. If the pastor really wants to stay in the congregation saying, no, we don't want you to lead anymore. Right. That is a difficult environment to be in. A very hard situation in the end, mm -hmm. yes. Well, Dr. Cook, thank you for All your right, time. Thank I you. appreciate the interview. Take care.